Everyone, today's video will take place in the bathroom. So if you want to come on down here, we'll show you what we're going to do. Down the birth canal, down the birth canal. Today we will be doing a repair on that toilet because it no longer holds water. Nope. So if you have this situation and you're in a bind, get some plumber's grease, smear it on your finger, well, rubber glove, smear it on your finger and just smear it around the seal down there and you can buy yourself some time. What did we get, like a month and a half out of doing that? A couple months. We had an issue when we first got Maggie. The ball assembly itself where it connects to the foot pedal, the shaft had, well, cracked a little, so it wouldn't close all the way. I couldn't order just that. I had to order a whole kit, but I forgot about that. So we were holding off, waiting until the next campground to do this so we could order seals, and then Cheryl said, wait a minute, that kit you bought came with seals. So these are two seals that we need. If you have this problem in this type of toilet, we will put a link down below for just the gaskets if you need them. So what you're gonna need, gloves, you're gonna need a half inch combination wrench and a 3 8 socket and you'll still use that grease too first thing you're gonna to want to do after you shut the water off outside or this will make this step very messy right down here is where the water connection is so I'm just gonna loosen that to disconnect it but first I'm gonna take a towel and put it underneath to catch any remaining water in the line can't see so I'm hoping I'm getting it right <laughs> because it's screwed on backwards I'm just turning it counterclockwise to get it off all right that's disconnected you can see it's disconnected because I can't see yes <laughs> okay then the next step you're going to take the half inch wrench and you're gonna have oh, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this or not underneath here is where the bolt is Let's get you see it? Yep. Alright, half inch wrench. I'm gonna take that off. It'd be nice if you could get sockets in there, but well you can't. Okay, that one's out. Let me get the other side. Alright, once those two nuts are off, you just lift it up. I'm not gonna repair it in here because it's way too tight. We have a space set up over in the on the floor yeah. in the dining room just, kitchen area. Just lift it right off like that. There you go. Bye. You want to cover this hole. Yeah, because... While you're working on the toilet and around. Yeah, just... Because you do not want to drop any tools down into the black tank. So once you have it off, it's mounting in the bathroom. Screw there, screw there. We're going to take them out. They are three-eighths of an inch. That will separate the bowl from the base. Okay, now with the two bolts removed, or screws I guess I should say, uh, we're going to need to remove this too because it is connecting the bowl to the base. This is kind of flimsy, so I'm just going to disconnect it down here instead. It's just a spring clip, a pair of pliers, squeeze, pull back, and it's off. I'm just going to work it off. Hope it's not going to drip any water. It shouldn't. Oh, there's a little bit of water in it. All right, so what we decided to do, because it's easier, because Cheryl has to hold the camera. <laughs> I just flipped the toilet upside down. You're going to take the base and turn it. Which way was that? Clockwise? Counterclockwise? Counterclockwise. And the base will come right off. Ugh. And there is the seal that is no longer holding. Yeah. Yeah, you can see all the grease that we put in. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's kind of not the same. All right, let's uh, clean this up a little bit and then we'll put the new stuff on. This is a good opportunity to clean your toilet really well. Yeah, real well. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to apply some plumber's grease to the seal itself. So what we're going to do, I will go overboard because that's what I do. Right, just getting where it's going to go. And grab the seal itself too. Overkill, yes, that's what I do. Okay. Rub some along the top of it too. Okay, I'm gonna call that good enough. Now, change my gloves, we'll flip it over and we'll mount it back to the toilet. 
All right, I decided the easiest way to do it, if I flip this over, that's gonna fall out. So I'm gonna flip the toilet back over. And line it up on the pegs. Whoa. <laughs> Almost dropped it. I just set it there for a minute so I can get down and see where it needs to go. It's in. All right. I just want to make sure you guys know what we're talking about when we say twist it. When you put it on, it's going to be like this, and then you're going to go clockwise and lock it into position. See? Now that's locked in. Then we're going to flip it over and put the two bolts back in. I only flipped it over so that you would have an idea of what I'm talking about when you twist it to lock it into position. All right, let's see the seal. All right. Oh, yeah, that's nice and centered in there. You can see the grease coming off of it too. Yeah, that should work fine. All right, we're gonna put the two bolts in the back and start reconnecting it. All right, so I have the two screws started. You may have to play with the spinning a little bit just to line up the screw holes. And then it's just putting these back in. All right, now when you're tightening these, it is porcelain, so do not overdo it. Just snug it up, should be good enough. You don't want to crack it. Once this is done, we go back into the bathroom, mount it to the floor, hook the water back up, turn the water on, and uh, hopefully it works. Oh, remember, you have to put this back on too. Pop it back on, and spring clamp. Come down. Oops. All right, there you go. All right, this was the old one that we believe was leaking, especially from the edges here. And if I take it off, it's definitely larger than <laughs> this one. You can see. That's from the weight of the toilet being on it, so this is gonna seal it up a lot better. Just gonna clean up this disgusting mess here. Before we bring the toilet in, and bolt it on down. We're gonna put it on now before putting the toilet in. I think it will, but it should stay because you gotta stretch to fit it on. Now, it doesn't say anything about grease on this, but I'm gonna put a smear around it, just to be on the safe side. Adding some grease. Just because we can. All right, let's go mount this bad bear toilet. Fun part's gonna be lining up those two bolts on these two holes. Sorry. <laughs> now, okay. I want to put some water in there first, though. Right. Pull bolting it down, just in case. Let's see. It is 2:37. So we're gonna give this, I don't know, three five minutes, and then we'll see whether or not it uh solve the problem. Solve the problem. Yes. It's 2:42. And it's 242. The water is still in the toilet. Yay! All right, now I'm gonna bolt it down to the floor. This one is tough to get to. That's the only side I can video on. You know. You have the same setup we do. You will not get a socket in there. So. There. Now it's sitting flush on the floor again. Yep. So we're gonna hook up the water, then go out and turn the water on, and come in and try it out. Again, I'm blind on this. I love these fittings. You don't need any tools to get them tight. All right. I'm gonna turn the water on and see what happens. Let's see. There we go. Everything appears to be working the way that it should. But we're just gonna check one more time. We gotta let this go till three o'clock. It's 301 
and we still have water in the toilet. I think it was a successful project. Yeah, that would have never happened before. This is an easy job to do, but again, know your limits. And it is kind of a crappy job. Ah, pun intended. <laughs> but if you like what you saw, we'd appreciate that thumbs up, as always. You want to become part of the Grow and Get Going with us gang, right? Down here somewhere right, in the corner. Right, right there. Just click it and you're in. <laughs> if you have any questions, comments, you can put them right down below. Or you could just say hi. Because we'll say hi back. We always do. Because until our next video, I'm Chuck. And I'm Cheryl. We'll get going with us. Bye. Bye.